Hi everybody, welcome to today's vlog. Um, it is Thursday, which is also my Friday, so I'm so excited. This week actually went by really, really fast, thank goodness, because I don't know, I'm just like so exhausted. I feel like um, me and AJ have just been so like sleep deprived. Our schedule has just been like really crazy this week and um, you know, one of my New Year's goal is I just really want to, um, develop, like, a set schedule for myself. Um, I mean, besides work, I do have, like, a set schedule, obviously, but I really want to start, you know, making healthier choices and working out more. I feel like now, whenever I work out, um... It's just kind of last minute and whenever I feel like I have the time to, which is not really the best um, because it's kind of like I'm getting off work, I get home, and then I'm like, oh, I'll go work out. But it's never like set days. It's never um, like a set time frame. It's always just like kind of all over the place. Well, good morning, everybody. It is so cold and I forgot that it's supposed to like snow today. So thank God I had this jacket in my car because I would be dying right now if I didn't. But um, this is one of my favorite jackets. It's from Aerie and it's like that Sherpa material but it's like really, really thick and warm. Let me just show you guys what the weather looks like you see that you see those clouds oh my god i don't want to walk i kind of have to walk um not like super far but it's like a hundred yards to where i work i have to like park in this dirt parking lot and walk but it's just so windy and cold and i just turned off my car and i'm already freezing um but I just want to say that I've been using this bag for my lunch and it's just like the Lululemon um, like bags that they give you when you buy something. And I don't know why, I think it's just like the most perfect size ever. And it just makes such a good lunch bag. Oh my God, speaking of Lululemon, oh my gosh, okay. So I was going to go to the gym after work, like right after work, and I just realized that I forgot my gym clothes and everything. So I'm going to have to run home. I try not, on the, on the days that I work out, like after work, I try to bring my stuff. That way I don't have to go home because I have realized that if I'm like thinking about working out, and then I go home first, then I start making all these excuses not to go to the gym. And I'm like, oh, but you know, I'm tired. And oh, I have laundry to do, or oh, I need to wash the dishes, or oh, I need to do this or that, or you know, whatever. So if I'm gonna work out after work, I try to bring my stuff. That way I just go straight to the gym. I don't even think about it. So that might be an issue. And my brother is babysitting Beckham today. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, but anyway, I got to run into work. I'm going to be late. So we'll see you guys in a while. I just got my first Grove box. So I wanted to open it with you guys so I could show you what I'm getting. So opening it for the first time. Oh my gosh. So, if any of you guys are OCD and obsessed with cleaning and like all natural products, then you will love Grove because um, they send you free stuff and it's a subscription so you could get a box like every single month or you could like skip a month or you could just order stuff as you need it and it comes with so much good stuff okay 
So, I'm trying to take everything out so I can show you everything all at once. So cute. What's this? So it's just a little thank you card. Whoops. Cute. Okay, so. everything out so I'll show you guys okay so the stuff that I ordered Beckham's getting into pots and pans he figured out how to open all the cabinets so um first thing that I ordered is the method daily shower cleaner and it's all natural plant-based and cleans without having to rinse. So my shower is all glass and I hate it because it's always so like dirty and has a bunch of water spots all the time. And I feel like I clean it like pretty often. So I wanted to get this, that way you could just like spray it when you're done showering and it cleans it. Next thing I got are these seven seventh generation um, disinfecting wipes. I really wanted to get these because they are a more natural alternative and I wanted something that I could like clean Beckham's toys with and like his room with. Next thing that I got was this antibacterial toilet cleaner. Um, it is in the scent Spearmint, so excited for that. And then I got this. I think this was the wood cleaner I got. Yes, wood for good um, date. Oh my gosh, oh, so sorry. This is a wood for good daily clean. As you can see, my whole entire kitchen is wood and it's just like so um noticeable whenever it's dirty because it is like this dark wood and i don't really have anything to clean it with um i just always use like a wet rag which probably isn't the best thing to use so i'm really really excited for this and then the next thing that next thing that i got is this baby diaper pill odor removal spray um, which this is like the cutest packaging ever. It's in the scent Refreshing Wildflowers. And I'm so excited. We opened his diaper, Ginny, to put a diaper in there. It just like stinks so bad. Sorry if that grosses you out. But we have cleaned it with bleach, cleaned it, washed it several times. And so this is just good to like spray like in between whenever we need to bleach it. So this is everything that I bought, everything that I ordered, and then this is what came free. So is the Blue Bell dish soap, the Oat Blossom hand soap, which I've never smelled this scent before, but it sounds like it's gonna smell so good. And then I got geranium, and then it came with this um, little walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge. Also came with this adorable little caddy, all for free. And this is just so cute because you can carry it room to room and it's just such a good idea. So the one thing that I love about Grove is that they have baby stuff, they have skincare, all kinds of stuff, cleaning stuff. And I just want to thank Grove for partnering with me for today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them. So I will leave um, their link down below in case you're interested. I highly recommend, especially if you're obsessed with cleaning. So yeah, I'm so excited about this. Good morning. Um, so I just went to go get my nails done and I had like the weirdest experience ever. Um, I don't know. The lady that did my nails was like, so mean and so rough and I don't know it was just kind of a weird experience I mean she honestly did a decent job um I go to the same place every time and there's this one man that works there 
and he usually does my nails um, but even the lady that owns the place she'll do my nails I don't know I don't ever like request a certain person I just go in there and get them done with whoever is available because I never remember to actually make an appointment um, so anyway I walked in today and they're like so slow and I think it's because the weather is just like horrible it's like 30 30 degrees out right now so they're pretty slow anyway um, I walked in and she's like can I help you and I'm like yeah um, I just need a fill and she's like sit down and I was like okay so I sit down and then usually um, yeah, I mean usually they give you like the colors to look at while they're like filing them and getting started and she like didn't let me like look at the colors right away and so she gets started on my nails she's starting to like file them and everything and then uh, she's like what color you want and I was like um I don't know can I look and she's like you don't know what color you want and I was like no like who goes and gets the same color every single time and like who doesn't like to look at the colors anyway so I'm looking at the colors and she's like filing them and whatever and um, she's like do you want cut down and I was like um yeah a little bit and so I had them like square they were square and they were also pretty long and so I asked her I was like can you do them almond shape and she's like no and I thought like she was joking I looked at her and I'm like with kind of like a smile like waiting for her to be like just kidding <laughs> and she's like no yeah too short and I'm like my nails are too short and they're like long and she's like yes you can only get them square or oval and I was like okay oval like I feel like oval is pretty much the same thing as almond shape so I was like, okay, I'll get them oval. And she's like, I'll try. She's like, but your nails are way too short. And I'm like, okay. Like, she's like so aggressive at this point. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And even the girl that was sitting next to her that worked with her that was like doing some other girl's nails was like staring at her the whole time and staring at me and like, they're talking in like Chinese to each other and I don't know it was just really weird and even the whole time when she was like filing my nails um, she was just being like super rough and aggressive and um, I don't know I was just kind of thrown off because I've never really had anyone be that rude before and she just seemed like she was in a hurry. Like she was Speedy Gonzalez. I got there at, I think it was like 1020 and it's 1045. So it took her like 25 minutes to do my nails, which I feel like usually it takes them like around 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so yeah, she was super fast. And then like after she filed them, I noticed that there's like a few of them that are like crooked which are bugging the crap out of me now that I'm looking at them but I didn't want to tell her I was honestly too scared and I was like okay just like looking at them whatever but that's like the most annoying feeling ever is when you leave the nail salon and you're like looking at them and you're like crap I'm gonna have to file this one when I get home I'm gonna have to fix that one when I get home and so anyway um, she charged me and I, um, she gave me my receipt and I went to go like fill out the tip and she's literally like hovering over me like to see what I'm writing, like what kind of tip I'm going to give her. And I gave her like a 20% tip, which I feel is pretty good for her treating me the way she treated me. And then, um, I was like, here you go. And she like grabs a receipt and doesn't even say like thank you or have a nice day or anything like that. So I was just like, whatever. I hope your day gets better, woman. Anyway, I don't know if it was like something against me or what the deal was. But she honestly made me not ever want to go back there again. But 
I've been going there for like over two years. I always go to the same place and I've seen her there before, but she's never done my nails. It's always other people. So I don't know where her deal was. And everyone that um, does nails that works there is always like super, super nice. And they were all talking to me. They're like, oh, hi, how's it going? And um, I went there like when I was pregnant. So a lot of them know that I have a baby. So they're like, how's the baby? And they're like, so nice. So I was just really thrown off, but whatever. So I guess if you're interested in my nails, <laughs> um, I got them, I asked for them almond. She said, no, they're too short. And then she still like filed them way down. Um, but I do really, really love this color. It's called, um, uh, what is it called? Peach Buff. And it's in the color, I think the number is 268 and it's a D&D. &D. Um, brand so it is gel it's almost 11 o'clock and I have been up since like 5 30 um, I had an appointment at 7 o'clock this morning um, so that really sucked I mean the appointment didn't go bad or anything like that but just the fact of getting up early on my day off kind of sucked um, so I had that and then we went to go get breakfast and coffee. Um, there's this little cafe by our house and it's called Cafe Bella. And it's like a little cute coffee shop and they have food. Their food is actually amazing. Um, but it's mine and AJ's like uh, favorite little coffee shop. And I always get the toasted coconut latte. I usually always get it iced, but since it was freezing cold this morning, I thought I'd get it hot and it was so good. And then um, I had an appointment to get a chemical peel. So um, the same lady, Francine, that did my Botox um, does my chemical peels. I had three of them and this was my third. So um, I got them like two weeks apart from each other so the first chemical pill they are gentle they're not like the crazy ones that make your skin pill like a snake um, I definitely could not do that because I work a lot and stuff and I'd be too embarrassed to go to work like that so this is like perfect if you don't um, you know have a lot of downtime so the first chemical pill I got I think she put on just like one layer of the uh, pill and then the second time I went, which was two weeks after that, um, she did two layers. And then this was my third time, so I think she did three layers, which, um, like the first. Hey! <laughs> hey! Um, oh, excuse me. Um, for like the first hour or two hours after the pill, your face is like so red like a tomato. But it's already been, it's been like an hour and a half since I got it done and my face honestly isn't red anymore and it actually looks like pretty glowy. I don't have any makeup on at all. Um, so this definitely helps my skin and really clears it up and just makes it look so like clear and glowy. And then um, I'm still using the Curology, which I absolutely love so much, like it has changed my skin. Um, I did do a whole video on my experience using Curology um, for a week, or I think it might have been eight days or something like that, I don't know. Um, but I'll link it down below in case you're interested, and then I'll link um, Francine's information down below. So if you live in Albuquerque, I definitely recommend her. Um, I got my Botox done by her a few months ago. Was it a few months ago? I can't remember when I got it done. Um, but yeah, she's the only one I trust with Botox or anything like that. So anyway, now I'm just driving home. Um, AJ has to go to work in a little bit, so... Um, the weather is super crappy and of course I just gave my dogs a bath the other day and now they're going to get dirty and muddy. So that will be fun. But uh, 
anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I feel like this vlog is kind of all over the place and sporadic. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. 